All right, here we are with our first K1 kickboxing and only K1 kickboxing match of the night, an 80-kilogram contest between Jake Brookfield here from uh, Jersey and Jersey Panther man Pinto. The Brazilian Pinto fighting out of a tsunami gym in Cambridge. Obviously, well-renowned for, uh, for their MMA fighters. Let's see what Pinto has here in the, uh, in the kickboxing arena. A very different style of fight. There'll be no takedowns. Everything will be started from the feet and may remain on it. Touch gloves in the middle. We'll see Two where very they start. different guys in terms of stature, Steve. Jersey's definitely the shorter, more compact fighter. And we've got Brookfield over there, long, lean, leading with that Muay Thai style on the bouncing left foot in the front. Uh, nice left hook lands there for Pinto, and they close the distance. And the K1 rules, obviously, haven't got their full. Muay Thai clinch, so uh, they've got to they've got to uh, really work out there and work the strikes from the outside as opposed from inside the clinch. And Jersey told me before the fight that he was going to look to box and low kick, nothing too fancy, and he was going to keep it up. Nice left hand lands there, snaps working Brookfield's those angles. Pinto looks powerful here. I mean, Brookfield, obviously the taller, rangier guy, but Pinto, as you'd expect from the stocky man, looks more powerful. Right hand lands over the top, and he's doing well to cut those angles down. Mix it up with strikes high and strikes low, and actually getting those leg kicks in there. I think mean, Brookfield would do well to use his front kick a little bit more and really establish that jab. Gets out of the way of a big right hand there that narrowly misses. And while these are three three minute rounds, leg kicks do pay dividends and they can lead to a fighter being stopped and damaged very, very early on. Pantherman swings a big overhand right there, counters with a low kick. So far, it's, it's Pinto as the aggressor. Jersey's really laying it in there. Yeah, showing Brooke, a lot of confidence. Brookfield, for the local man, obviously uh, looking to impress in front of his own crowd. Nice trip there from Pinto. Jersey is showing that he's the stronger fighter, definitely. He's got a lot more compact power, and he's really laying it down. Let's see how he works that with his striking and his punches. That front kick's working well for Brookfield. I think he needs to use a few more of those, along with a, a nice stiff jab. Exactly, he needs to follow it up keep him on the outside, maybe lay some longer style hooks in there. When Jersey throws in combinations where the punches and gets inside, he's really bothering him, so he needs to keep him on the outside. And even though he seems to be light on that lead foot, he's not checking those kicks. Comes with a big overhand right there. Front kick narrowly misses. Oh, excellent. Nice overhand right there. Pino's really turning his hips over on the low kicks. They'll be doing some damage as the rounds wear on. He's really following through with them. There's a lot of reckless abandon there. It goes for a high kick, it misses. Brookfield, nice little left hook. Comes in with the punches and a knee in the clinch. And that's the that's the issue in this in this cage fight. In the cage. Nice knee lands for Brookfield. Brookfield finding his range a little bit as the round comes to a close. Definitely. It was Pinto that started the stronger, but Brookfield seems to have found his shots. And there's another sweep, and that brings him down hard at the end of the round. Good Not first sure. round there. How uh, did you score that, Jay? Uh, I think Pinto was the aggressor, landed the better shots for the, the majority of the round. I'd say for the first two to two and a half minutes, he was landing the cleaner shots, more aggressive. Brookfield came into it towards the end of the round, but not enough to steal the round for me. Yeah, and in Brookfield's defense, it's very hard when you have a, an aggressor come out so strongly, as, as we saw there with Pinto leading with those, le those low leg kicks and the, and the high punches upside. It's, uh, he really had, had Brookfield back on the back foot. As, we said, as you said, he, he found his range. We'll see if he can carry that on into the second round and maybe establish more of a game plan here. Yeah, in terms of the physical attributes the guys have got, Pinto is obviously shorter, but he's throwing the punches in combinations, and when he does that, he's working his way inside and he's managing to catch Brookfield. I think Brookfield needs to be more assertive with his jab, and I think that the front kick's working when he fires that out. He needs to be at range and needs to be on the outside. Both teams giving instructions. There seems to be a lot of... A lot of intensity there from uh, from Pinto's club. Maybe that's what works for him. And over there in Brookfield seems to be calm, cool, collected, ready for his second round. Let's see what happens when it gets started. Fellow Brazilian uh, who we've seen earlier in the night, Hangel, uh, giving his countryman some instructions as they come out for the second round. Though, though we all know that Vince didn't have to use any of his striking in his match, did he? 
Yep. Great win for Vince earlier. We come out for the second round of this K1 kickboxing fight. Let's see what both guys can do. And that intensity seems to have rubbed off. Pinto is ready to go and he yep. seems fired up. Let's see what happens. He can't wait to come out, tapping his gloves together. Brookfield and, uh, shaking out those legs. They're, they're a little bit in the middle. bruised. Pinto looks a lot more urgent as we come out for the second round. He looks ready to throw some leather. And we see Brookfield mixing it up more. and He's using those kicks and that range. That will definitely, definitely pay dividends for him. He'll work hard for that. Yeah, it's money in the bank, those kicks to the legs, that's for sure. If Pinto can, uh, can catch them kicks and follow with that overhand right, I think that's what's going to work for him. Left kick there, narrowly misses. Overhand right misses for Brookfield. You see Pinto using that switch front left leg kick, and that's, that's really excellent because it does pass you off to the side and get the angle, and you're able to really land that onto the inside thigh of the lead leg of your opponent. I think in terms of styles, if, uh, if Brookfield wants to exchange hands, then I don't think that's going to work out well for him. I think he needs to stay longer. Nice high kick there from uh, the Panther man. As this fight wears on, Pinto gets more confident and he's laying those shots in there with some reckless abandon and with some aggression. He's got bad intentions and he slams them to the mat again. Yep, yeah, Pinto definitely working well, catching that kick and managing to get the trip. Those score in the eyes of the kickboxing judges, Steve. And uh, Brookfield thinking about what he can do next, thinking about how he can suss uh, Jersey out here in the second round. Uh, it's, it's like a puzzle you have to solve, almost a chess match, a high-paced chess match. They both want to see where the openings are and they want to exploit it. And so far, Pinto's doing well. Jersey kept him away there with a quick jab, goes for the high kick but does not land it. He's not doing damage and he's not connecting with those punches or kicks. Pinto's defense has been really good. He's catching all the kicks on arms and elbows. Nothing clean has got through just yet. Both of these fighters are reacting, so some fainting and some movements, some faked movements will definitely help. Oh, nice front right kick, kick. Yeah. Pinto catches it though, is it? He's not pleased with himself or eating that one to the face. Comes knows, out with a big left hook. He knows the points will go the, go the way of Brookfield there. But, and like you said, Brookfield is establishing the range. He's starting to use it. We'll see if he can really, really exploit that as it goes on. Obviously spurred on by the partisan crowd here in his favour. Oh, oh, nice left hand lands and Brookfield walks through it, but that one had to hurt, Steve. A big overhand right and Pinto says, come on, you want some more? Step into here. Pinto wants him in range. He wants him close so that he can really land that. And there he is. He's following with that left hook to right hook. Brookfield swaying back to uh, avoid those hands, but if Pinto can follow that out with a low kick while he's off balance, he's going to score the points there. Something he did well there was lead with that right, that right cross, and I think that's something that you can definitely do as the taller fighter. He leads for that right kick again, and that ends the round. Both guys go round. back to the corner. A closer round, but I would just score that one, Steve. <laughs> definitely have to score 10-9 uh, to Pinto there because he did land the, land the tougher shot, swept him a few times. It seemed like Brookfield was establishing the range. He did land some good shots. He needs to come out in that third round with a fire on him and try to stop this. Yeah, Brookfield, he had a better round, but I still don't feel like he did enough to win it. Pinto is the more aggressive man. He's landed the cleaner shots. And uh, yeah, I think Brookfield's got it all to do in the third round. And, and Brookfield is still dangerous on the outside. If Pinto really wants to use his size and his, his strength advantage, he needs to move inside and get those, get those punches connecting both to the head and to the body and lead off with maybe a leg kick as Brookfield looks to, e looks to exit that, uh, that close range combat. Yeah, Brookfield looks calm still. You know, he looks like he's got gas left in the tank. So if he can come out strong, you know, for me, he needs a stoppage in the third round. For the judges, I'm not sure. But, you know, he definitely needs to really turn it up a notch. If he's still got the gas, maybe he can do that in the, in the final round here tonight. You know, he hasn't been leaning into those punches too much, so he could pepper him with a few and really lay one in there, but Pinto's been you know, putting mustard behind every one of his strikes, and it does show in his face right now. He's a little bit winded, but he definitely has bad intentions, and let's see what he does in this third round. And you've, uh, you've got to reward the intention to finish the fight, Steve, surely. All right, they come out for the third round. 
Brookfield arguably looking the fresher man, but you know we've seen when Pinto swings that right hand, it looks really powerful. So we'll see what happens here in the third. Brookfield's almost halfway towards towards Pinto. He's looking to control the control the ring. I think touches gloves, shine of respect. See what strike capitalizes in the first few seconds here. The exchange front kicks. The crowd go wild as Brookfield lands a front kick, but he uh, he gets countered by a Pinto left hand. Nice knee there. The crowd are behind him, that's for sure. Brookfield, how is he going to use this? All right, let's think. Under these K1 rules, the clinch is limited to uh, just a matter of seconds. This is not tie boxing where you can stay in the clinch for a long time, so the referee separates him there. This is definitely looking like Brookfield has established his game plan. He's establishing his range. We'll see how it... Oh, this is, this is working well for him. It is right here. I really want to see him lead with that right straight again. Nice front kick lands to the chin, but Pinto doesn't seem affected. Steams in with that left up right hand combo. Both miss the mark, but you've got to think if they start landing, it's going to work. And as this, as this fight is worn on, Pinto is standing in front of him. He's not really working those angles, and that is what is important when you're with nice a taller left fighter. Hook lands. That being said, he lands the left hook, so he is a tough fighter. As a shorter, more inside fighter though, Steve, I mean, Pinto surely, he's just trying to close the distance however possible. See him charged like a bull. He is known as the Panther Man, so let's see if he can bring some of that cunning and that style in here. Uh, Panther's significantly cunning, Steve, is that? You get it. That... <laughs> they clinch up again, and as they exit the clinch, a nice knee comes in from Panther. Pinto's doing a very good job of parrying those jabs and, and capitalizing. And there he comes with that overhand right again that he did so much damage with in the second round. Those right hands are narrowly missing there, Steve. You've got to think if one of them lands on the chin, it's going to hurt. Nice knee there from Brookfield, though, as they clinch. He's really working the knees better in the third round. This is exciting. It does have the crowd going wild. They're definitely behind Brookfield, but Pinto is, is earning fans here tonight, that's for sure. He's got a good style and he's moving well. I think under full tie rules, Steve, with, uh, with a proper clinch and knees in the clinch, uh, I think Brumfit Brookfield might have a better time of it. He's certainly looking to throw that knee more in this third round, but he's, he might be too little too late. Nice jab lands, that snaps Pinto's head back there. With less than a minute left in, left in this third round. Pinto, Pinto, you know, he's, he's definitely winning this. Brookfield needs to do something desperate. He's, his corner's calling for something. Calling for that straight right, just as I said. They wanted to see it happen. Yeah, Pinto's really closing the distance with that left hook a lot of the time. Ten if, seconds. Uh, if Brookfield can use that straight right as he's coming in, that could be an effective punch for him. Final seconds of the third round. And there it is. There's the bell. An excellent fight. Pinto and Brookfield. We'll see how the judges score it, but I can't see this not going to Pinto. Brookfield not outclassed but by the looks of it he's uh, just not had enough firepower there to match up with a Brazilian a great fight though very entertaining both guys had their shares of success let's see how the judges score it
definitely came out as the aggressor on that game. Maybe that was the difference. Was there a certain game plan you think you executed with that game? Well, it wasn't my game plan, it was just the muscle that I've been training. So, I used most men on this side. I tried to learn a couple of tactics about who to call the opponent, so I couldn't have used my tactics on this side last night. Excellent plan. Enjoy your game.